Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. What we're going to do is go through um, how you feel about your person, how they feel about you, get some advice for you, and an outcome. Thank you for being here again, Sagittarius. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on. How does Sagittarius feel about their person, the person that they come into the reading for? The magician. Everybody's getting the magician here. So it's like everybody feels like somebody is just saying things or they're good with their words or they're trying to manifest or they're being manipulative or they're trying to use everything that they have to make something real true, bring a, a dream to life. This is how you feel about your person, Sag. Um, maybe you feel like they're just saying things. You say that you feel like they're resourceful though. Like they think of something and then they say it. Whether they actually put the energy, the effort, the time behind it is another is another question, is another uh subject there. Let's see how you feel about your person said. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, you just feel like um you know, they're trying to butter you up, make you fall in love again, either be very ladylike or gentleman like or you, you feel like they have unrealistic expectations and love relationships. And when things get real, they don't know how to maintain the relationship. They're not for the long term. They're short term. They want things that glitter, that, you know, uh, you know, gold, silver. They, they're they not here. You can even feel like there's a lack of substance or substance. Or you just feel like there isn't uh, anything behind the beautiful facade. You feel like... Um, you know, it's all smoke and mirrors. You may even feel like they, you know, um, once you fall in love with them again or they fall in love with you, they can easily fall out of it. They do a lot to, to be in love, but then when they get it, they see that you have to maintain it and they're disinterest and there's disinterest and they move on or they want to move on. You just feel like they're still searching for something and, and there's a, a level of uh, emotional immaturity. Let's see how your person feels about you, Sagittarius. Three of Swords. So they feel like you, there's miscommunication or you're not communicating at all. There's very little communication. Um, they feel like um, you're divided within your heart space. You don't know what you want to do. Um, there's no moving forward or there's no creating anything because of the division. Uh, somebody is trying to get over the heartbreak or the heartache here. That's how they feel about you. Maybe you're trying to get past it. You're trying to move past this. How does this person feel about you, Sash? Yeah, they're trying to move past this, get over it, get past the previous hurt. Maybe release your emotions, let go of the baggage, get to a more healthier place in terms of relationship. You're trying to make the decision uh, of who you really want to commit to or what you really want to commit to. Um, this is how they feel. They feel like you're trying to be rational, but at the same time, you um, there's high anxiety about commitment, about letting, um, about not being autonomous or independent anymore. You have baggage, of course, when it comes to relationships, about um, cheating, secrecy, uh, loose women. Oh gosh, strippers, exotic dancers, sex workers, something of that nature. Something about it not being healthy or healthy relationships and someone's trying to shift this. This is how uh, your person feels about you. What is the advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice for Sag? The Knight of Swords. Um, if, you're having, if you're having hesitation or apprehension about moving forward, you need to speak on this. You need to be open, you need to be honest. Um, you need to be persuasive in your viewpoint, okay? You need to, there needs to be some communication because there's a lack of communication with the three of swords there. Um, somebody is hesitant about commitment. They're just not sure on it, but they don't want this person to get away, to go away. So it's like they'll do something big to draw them back in, but that is all. You know, that's it, just to pull you back in. Um, this card wanted to come out. Yeah, pull somebody back in. Eight of Swords. Because somebody doesn't think positively about um, cohabitation. Co co <laughs> yes, about living together. Somebody does not think positively about 
you know, make it something real. They feel trapped. They feel stuck, claustrophobic. Um, somebody doesn't want to feel that way with the Eight of Swords. Someone feels like if they give their heart, you know, they're going to get trampled on. They're going to get stumped on. The Eight of Swords talks about the air of being good natured. So the air. So they'll, it's going to be, it's an era. It's, it's wrong. Or this is what happens when you are good natured. Okay. Um, so somebody is resting in that energy of not wanting to show their good nature because they know that they're going to get, um, they're not going to get good nature, uh, energy back. They're going to get, you know, maybe ill will, you know, bad nature, if you will. What is the uh, outcome for Sagittarius? If they speak their truth, if they be honest about how they feel, what is this? What is the outcome? All right. Yeah. You can release. So you get the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So you get to release the burden of maybe a toxic relationship or toxic thinking or toxic energy um, of carrying this burden around. Ten of Pentacles, uh, maybe you even get to marry into a more solid, stable relationship or you get uh, more stability. Yeah, marry into maybe the higher fan. Maybe you need to go talk to someone, a spiritual advisor, um, someone who could mediate give you um some type of uh, good advice in terms of bringing two very different entities two very different people together uh with the ten of pentacles and the ten of wands here it's like um with the ten of wands it's just you're just not sure where this is going you you, you feel like something is without intention or without direction or without an end game or an end goal here but you want the you want the you know, the Ten of Pentacles, you want a real relationship. You want some, uh, something to be solid, stable, forever. What is the hidden element here? You might even decide to just bet on yourself to, I don't know. You have a hard time making decisions about what you really want. The hidden element, yeah, moving, moving on from maybe troublesome times or hard past issues. Be true to you. That's what I'm saying. Be true to you. It's just like you want something, but you've got all of this conditioning. Let something come in. Let something new develop for you. Welcome the new, okay? And be true to you. So it's like, it's like you want a traditional relationship. You want a marriage. You want a wife. You want a husband. You want something like that. But all of this conditioning, maybe of the society, societal norms of what you've seen from men or from women, it just makes everything mucky. You don't know which way to go. But you have to be true to you. You have to move on from past hurt. It'll just keep you stuck and stagnant here. Welcome the new is here. There's newness for you, um, but you have to welcome it. You know, if you're not welcome to it, then of course you won't have it. So this is what I have for you, Sag. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting a question to the number below. You can also um, donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link, all right? Uh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30, 8.30 to 9, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you can come listen to the collective reading. You can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. I mean, you can also ask a question or two when you show up to the live reading. You can also text a question to the number below. Okay. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you.